Hello there, and thank you for tuning in. In this video, we'll be covering hot news from HP's Z Workstation division. There has been a growing trend towards remote work for some time, which has only accelerated over the past year. Besides reasons of health safety, some people find it more convenient to work from home, while others may prefer to live in an exotic or far-off locale. But perhaps the most important enabler of remote work was the advent of a fast internet, which has completely changed not only the way we work, but how software is delivered, the way we govern our social lives, how we get our news and entertainment, and so on. HP's Z line of products are aimed at professional creatives, such as designers, animators, VFX artists, and architects. Let's start with Z Central. Z Central is a new remote solution that provides tools for artists, filmmakers, animators, and architects to collaborate remotely, iterate through revisions, and share their creations in real time from any environment. This is especially useful in today's world, where, according to HP, more than 80% of companies are accelerating the adoption of collaborative applications for their workers, including those who work from home. HP is not new to remote collaboration technology, but they have recently stepped up their efforts with the release of Zcentral Remote Boost. In fact, it is so useful that it caught the attention of the Television Academy, who awarded it nothing less than an Emmy Award in the engineering category. According to the Academy's official statement, Zcentral Remote Boost advances the art of television during the global pandemic with access to high-performance computing from anywhere. Zcentral also supports natural inking technology with enhanced Wacom displays and tablets, making it a great tool for capturing ideas and conceptualizing projects. In conjunction with NVIDIA Omniverse, NVIDIA's real-time collaboration technology based on Pixar's Universal Scene Description and NVIDIA RTX, HP Z Central supports multiple OS environments and hardware flexibility. The result is the ability to work in real time across multiple programs such as Unreal Engine, Adobe Substance, and Autodesk Maya. Since production is often a group effort, whether it's for movies, television, or games, ZCentral could be a key technology to enable effective collaboration and co-creation between team members, wherever they may be. Now let's take a look at some of the new workstations from HP Z. One of the most interesting new Z workstations from HP is the HP Z Central 4R, a powerful and compact 1U rack workstation that was designed to be racked up in your machine room or data closet. This is a great machine to use with Z Central Boost, as it functions perfectly as a powerful remote workstation that can be accessed by users anywhere who need workstation power. It's no wonder Z Central is part of its name. The slim and sleek Z Central 4R has an impressive memory capacity of up to 256 gigabytes. It also has space for multiple NVIDIA Quadro GPUs and has been certified by top software manufacturers, as workstations often are. For processing, it supports up to an 18-core Intel Xeon W series processor. There are also dual high-speed network connections, as well as pro-grade PCIe SSD storage options. With the HP Z Central 4R workstation, you can line up a stack of them to provide remote workstations for your entire crew. Is this the production studio of the future? A stack of Z Central 4Rs in a data closet with artists accessing them from anywhere? I don't know about you, but it sounds like a good idea to me. Another interesting workstation product offering this fall from HP is the HP Z2 Mini G5 workstation. I have reviewed a previous generation of the HP Z2 Mini in the past in a previous video. I'll put the link in the description. This updated version provides even more high-end performance packed into an insanely small device that won't take up much of your desk space and can be mounted on the back of a display for even less clutter. You can even throw it in a bag and take it with you wherever you go. It's that small. 
but don't let its size fool you. The new HP Z2 Mini supports a new Intel 10-core processor, as well as NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000 graphics. That's a big boost up from the last generation, and a lot of power for such a small footprint. HP has also been active on the mobile front with the introduction of the HP ZBook Fury 15 G7 mobile workstation, their most powerful 15-inch mobile workstation. The ZBook Fury 15 is a great machine for pretty much all kinds of projects, including 3D animation, video editing, rendering, compositing, and so on. The HP ZBook Fury 15 G7 features the latest Intel CPUs, as well as powerful NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 or 5000 GPUs. According to HP, this PC thrives on heavy multi-app workflows and is 12% smaller than the last generation. It's got slots for 128GB of RAM and capacity for up to 10 terabytes of local PCIe NVMe SSD fast storage. For those who prefer a larger screen, there's the HP ZBook Fury 17 G7, also new, that is 29% smaller than the last generation. Another new mobile workstation from HP is the HP ZBook Power G7, a cost-conscious mobile workstation for those who wish to upgrade to professional ZBook performance at a very affordable price. The ZBook Power G7 supports Intel Xeon and Core i9 processors, 64 gigabytes of memory, NVIDIA Quadro 2000 graphics, and dual 2 terabyte M.2 SSDs. Also new from HP is the HP Z2 Tower G5, the latest version of HP's most powerful entry-level desktop tower workstation. If you are just starting out or if you are on a budget and don't want to shell out the extra dollars for HP's top tier workstation towers like the Z8 or the Z6, the HP Z2 tower might be just what you're looking for. It features NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 graphics and 10-core CPU processing. The Z2 Tower G5 also allows for multiple video cards and comes with either Linux or Windows 10 operating systems installed. Also new is HP's Z2 Small Form Factor G5 workstation for those who prefer a more compact design than the tower. It can sit horizontally on your desk and you can put your display right on top of it. Or it can stand vertically if you prefer. HP has rolled out multiple new displays specifically designed for creatives. Among them are two new Dreamcolor HDR monitors, the Z25XSG3 and the Z27XSG3, which deliver over a billion on-screen colors with color accuracy guaranteed out of the box. HP's Dream Color displays are specifically designed for color accuracy, and Dream Color has earned HP an Academy Award by the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences. They are used for color correction, animation, and other post-production tasks where accurate color is crucial. The new displays are Pantone validated with up to HDR 600 for greater contrast, deep rich blacks, and vibrant colors. The new displays also connect to your computer, PC, or Mac with a single USB-C cable. There are also six new Z-Core Premium displays. Though not dream color, they deliver high levels of color accuracy out of the box as well, with an 82% thinner design than previous displays. There are a range of sizes, up to 4K, and they offer compatibility across devices with USB-C power delivery. IT managers will be pleased to learn that the new displays come equipped with HP Display Manager, an endpoint management solution for displays that allows for the monitoring, tracking, and adjustment of a fleet of displays remotely. HP makes a point that they continue to maintain a commitment to protect the environment by incorporating sustainably sourced materials for their Z products. 
The plastics in the Z Display portfolio consists of over 80% post-consumer and ocean-bound plastics, while 75% of all aluminum content has been upcycled and the packaging is 100% sustainably sourced. From the remote collaboration tools of Z-Central Boost to their new workstations and displays, HP continues its considerable legacy, bringing the creative and post-production community high performance and high value products to get the job done. This is especially useful in this new remote access environment we find ourselves in. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.